Hi everybody, it's Diane from Tattered Edges Design. I'm making a mixed media collage today. It's on poster board like the last few I've done. Um, no, I didn't measure this one either. Okay, take a guess. Nine and a half or so. Oh, I'm off. Eight and three quarters by nine and three quarters. Okay. And yes, that is Buster Keaton once again with one of his uh, co-stars there, Big Joe Roberts. Anyway, just as a little footnote, I was just going to show this. I thought this was kind of interesting. I had printed off this picture uh, a couple months ago, really. I just came across it on the internet and liked it, so I printed it off. And I like the contrast. Are you seeing that? How it's kind of blown out. But then I came across this one. I was like, oh, that's a lot better. <laughs> so I printed that out to actually use but you see how the cropping is different too? This one is longer. This one you get to see the car in the back, which I like. So there's just a little note of interest, I thought. Anyway, I'm using this one. So this is all glued down. I spared you all that. I just put a bunch of random text behind. Then I went over with some pattern tissue, just totally random words that mean absolutely nothing, a few postage stamps, a couple little color things. But I'm going to knock it all down with gesso. So that's where I am now. And as you've heard me say a lot, beyond this, I really don't know what I'm doing. I don't have any big ideas for this one. Sometimes I do, you know, have kind of a thought of at least a color theme, or I don't want a lot of color, or yeah, I do want a lot of color. I In this this one, I have no idea. So hopefully, by the time this dries, I'll have come up with something. If I haven't, I'm just going to blob on color and, you know, see what happens. I did kind of hesitate this one, putting it into the picture, but there's nothing going on down here. So I thought, well, I'll probably end up slopping paint there anyway. So I thought that was probably okay. And I probably will stitch sew on this when all is said and done. Assuming I get that far and I like it, right? Yeah, for anybody who's sort of you know, afraid to jump in, or what if I don't like it, or I don't want to ruin materials, just for the record, I've made literally thousands pieces. Thousands pieces? Thousands of pieces of art. That's why I can't talk. I'm too busy, you know, making art. But, um, you know, in all different kinds of styles and media and everything. But that, with that, you know, kind of number, I've literally thrown away maybe five at the most. Maybe even less than that. There's always some way you can fix it. And yeah, not everything might not be your absolute favorite thing you did, but that's life. Okay, that's good enough to start. So yes, I have to let this dry, get the gesso off my counter, go wash my hands, and I will be back later. Okay, here we are. The gesso is dry. I've got some trusty craft paint here, and I still don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. Um, I rarely plan this stuff out anyway. But usually as I'm progressing, I get thoughts, ideas. I have no thoughts on this. I don't know. But I like this color blue, so I'm just going to open it and put my brush in and see what happens. And I failed to mention before, this is a publicity shot from the 1921 short film, The Goat. And how many of you are going, oh yeah, I've seen that outside of me 
I'll, I'll take bets on that. Okay. Just letting it drip. And that is awfully bright compared to them. Not overly, overly thrilled with that. But I hit it with a tad of orange to tone it down a little. I don't know. I said, I just, for some reason, this picture, I don't know. I Sometimes I get, you know, these great brainy ideas. Oh, I should put that on there. Or, you know, blah, blah, blah. No. The fact that I'm tired might have something to do with that. Okay, I like that better. Not so uh, bright blue. I'm letting it drip off. Oh, that's neat. You know, now what are you going to do with it? All together now. I don't know. And really, if you um, you know, are just into the vintage look, the shabby look, you could practically leave it the way I had it. Maybe border the picture somehow, add a word, something like that. But it could be done. Well, okay, if you were me, what would you do? I still don't know. And sometimes, too, I would do all this without the focal image on the page. Um, I did go ahead and put this one down because there's, there's quite a lot around you know them so i thought well you know if some pink gets in that area or whatever that's fine i'm helping my drip <laughs> there we go okay we go over that go over that All right, that's kind of cool, actually. How about a little orange in there because of my love of psychedelic colors? Oh, we've got, um, could you hear that banging? Our 12 plus inches of snow is starting to melt occasionally and something slid off my house there. All right, actually, I like that. And you know, since Buster definitely is looking in this direction, having all that there is pretty good. I don't, maybe I don't want so much behind them, but I would, will try to, you know, knock out these corners in some way. Blue, back to the blue. And by all means, this is not any kind of tutorial on this kind of work. I'm just, I'm just letting you watch me. Or kind of watch because I'm holding it up and you can't see it. I'm trying to let it run. All right. I definitely thought of sewing, I think I mentioned that, when this is all done. So, you know, keep that in mind. Let me hold it up. That's kind of fun. Um, I think maybe a little something of color over here. But what? I don't know. And yeah, this is still my old dumb brush that I keep saying I gotta replace, which I to get new ones, I have some, but just for this kind of work, it's fine. And 
And I might as well save my new brushes then for fine detail work. I, I kind of like that. What do you guys think? And you can always add more images. Or I just happened on this because there's two of them. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of big. It, the, I don't like the fact that it's really dark behind it. Oh, do I have anything in my Buster file? Let me see if I can find that. Look at that. Just a minute. I'm looking in a box. Here it is. Let's see. Uh, oh, timeless treasure. That's not bad. Movie magic. Artistic. Um, what else is in here? File. I've got things, you know, he made a picture steamboat, Bill Jr. Things like that. If I see them, I grab. Ooh, silence. I kind of like that color. Let's see if we can't work with this. Need I say it was a silent film? Are we? <laughs> I'm assuming everybody knows what I'm talking about. This was a silent movie. I, I like it for the color, <laughs> which is a pretty darn good reason to use it. I could even cut those letters apart. I, I'm thinking of that. Well, while we're thinking, is the background done color-wise? What do you guys think? I could, you know, like I said, add, re-add, stamp. Does it, does anybody care? Like, you can kind of read exchange there, which has nothing to do with anything. Does it matter to anybody? I mean, it doesn't really matter to me. A little white. I can, I brought my, you know, oh, so exclusive stamps up to my thread spools to make circles. Spatter a little white too. Yeah, I kind of like that. So need to be a little runny like the other paint now that my paint or my water I mean is purple yeah that's a little better it's a little I don't know it just doesn't look so sketchy with the brush strokes something like that what about spattering some pink over here? Yeah, actually I like that.
All right, now that I got pink spatters all over creation. I'll tell you what, let me pause. I'll let this dry a tad. Possibly cut these letters out and clean up some pink spatters. I'll be right back. Okay, the pink spatters have been cleaned up. I got fresh water. I cut the letters apart. And it's still actually kind of fairly wet in some places, but we're going to forge ahead. Um, if I sew, I, you know, I was thinking about going completely around the photo. Well, it's a off the internet image. I don't think I said that either. So I don't really want the letters there to get sewn over. But I don't know that I want them this low. So solve that problem for me. Yeah, I, I, that's I kind of ang angle them down, work them down. And then I could just sew up to them. Yeah, it looks like stairs, I don't like that. Well, I could do that, just sew up to them. All right, if that was there, my question to all you fine viewers out there, does it need more dark out somewhere? I think yes, which I can do with these, try with these spools. Well, okay, let's just address, we'll just do that first. I think black. Um, yeah, let's see, this blue isn't really that, that that dark compared to them. So I think we're going to go black. And I don't think I want the spool or spoke things. I think that's going to be a little too much. So let's just try this. And yeah, I do resort to this a lot. I should try something new and different sometime. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, just a couple down here. And do we want a couple of the small size with it? Think about that. We need more paint. Yeah, that's better. All right. Um, I don't know. A couple little ones. Just as, as long as I went to all the trouble to bring it up here with me, I should use it, right? That's probably adequate. I don't want to overdo that. All right. Okay, so now back to my what do you think conversation. Um, it's good. It's fine. And I probably should glue those letters down. But since there's really nothing in the outer background area, whatever we call it, that's definite, you know what I'm saying? It's all sort of drippy paint and smushed paint. Does it need something like that? Think about that while I glue down these letters and put my paintbrush in water. Hmm. Oops. Wow. That was a good trick. See, now, if I was on beat the clock or something, I wouldn't be able to do that, right? I don't know, are you thinking? Well, if you think yes, what in the world would it be? I think I'm going to have to pause the camera. The glue does not want to come out there. I 
I don't know because you know they are the focal image you don't want to take your eye off that well let's get these letters down and then we will see we'll take it from there you want me to pause okay I'll pause okay the letters are glued I do think it could use a little something and I thought oh I know I've got a stencil that's film I also have a rubber stamp which would be um, maybe less risky because I've never painted on this I was thinking of painting so what I think I'm going to do is get a scrap paper and try that before we ruin this picture And I think I would just do, well, this side is obviously just a film strip. This is a little, um, well, we'll do both. How about that? Um, distressed. So let's see. And I would do black. Not so much because it's a film strip, but because I want black on there. It would be fun to do this in different colors. And do I need a pounce thing? I don't know. We'll see if this works. I I am not proficient in stenciling. I've done very little of it. Is that obvious? Do I need to tell you that? All right, it's okay. I can live with that. Um, but which one do we like on here? The dist. Well, I think that the stressed one, you almost don't quite get what it is. Am I right? All right, we'll try this. And I even thought of like a couple at an angle. And you know what? It's a grungy mixed media piece. If it schmutzes or something, I don't know that it matters that much. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of silence, I don't know that I like it that much. I like. I mean, I really like the idea. I don't know that this is coming off how it. You know, does, it doesn't look so much like a film thing. What do they call those? There must be a word for that. You know, so the film will hold on the reels or threads. I mean, whatever. Then shut up. No, I don't really like that. What do you guys think? It's more like, I don't know, tiger or something. Well, okay. Yeah, I could. Well, I, was, I can just live with it. I can't really take it. It's black. I can't just put water on and take it out. It'll just schmutz all over the place. I could, um... I'm going to wait for it to dry and start all over, so to speak. It's just paint. I can go over it or put paper back on, on it. Well, well, at any rate, I think i got to wait for it to dry to make a decision. And I have to clean this off anyway. Let me let that dry. Let me wash this stuff off, and I will be back in a minute. Okay, do you see my solution? I went and got a magazine ad I knew I had that had these film strip looking borders on it, so I glued it over. And with you know, without that there, there was just way too much activity over there. So I put one down here. And I think that's fine and I think that's good and I like it better than that paint strip thing. But I think I want some of the color to come over that now. So see, if you do something you're not wild about, don't give up, don't think it's terrible. There's probably a way to fix it. And it might even lead to something better that you hadn't even thought about.
So there, that's the Diane tidbit of the day. Yeah, I'm kind of half off here. Aren't I? Okay, well, what do you think? Let's see what I think. I think, all right, I'm standing it up. I'm walking back a foot or two or three. All right, I think it definitely needs the stitching something. So I'm going to let it dry, stitch, and then see if that's enough or not. Okay, I will be back in a bit. Okay, I'm back. It's sewed around. I think that adds a lot. Um, I was looking at it before I turned the camera back on. There are a few things I think it needs. One, I still think it could use a little more white. If you look at like Buster's collar and the shirt there, it, I think a little white isn't going to hurt anything. I think sometimes, sometimes too, a little white like that can make it look a little distressed, which is in my book fine. You know, like, oh, over time, something got on that picture. Isn't that too bad? Okay. I also think the stitching, let me wipe this off. Right here, I didn't get it down to the E. So I'm going to just use a marker and drag it down and hopefully it'll, you know, as the great Gonzo said, the world will never know. All right, I guess I should drag it over there too. Okay, better. Yeah, and just at a glance you'd never know, right? Okay, I feel we need color here. It's just a little too nothing. Although I don't want to take away the white. And I, my first thought was a, the pink, bring the pink back down. But it's like, no, I think I want to keep that as more like an accent thing. And so I'm just going to pull more blue down. And then we may be done. Add more. I think this space right there doesn't thrill me. There's no text, I mean, it's text, but no lettering right behind that. It's just blank. All right, well, did I all but eradicate the white? What do you think? Okay, you look. Let me look. Yeah, I think so. Pull a little blue up. Even just like that. All right, I think, I feel this this was one of those drips. It's it's too much of a straight line, kind of a cutoff line there looking. All right. Let me hold it up. Yeah, I think, you know, you probably could get away with some blue over here. Um, but like I said, since Buster's definitely looking that way, I don't know if I really want to put something behind his back. Maybe just a little bit, like in this area. Let's try that. OK, 
Okay, I think that's adequate. And I'm going to lay it down so it doesn't run more. Now I can't hold it up to me, can I? Okay, one more little thing here, and it is a little thing. I think this circle, it didn't... What? How do you explain that? Because there's paper here, it didn't go all the way to it. I don't, I'm not a fan of that. Okay, that's fine. Well, you know what? Let's sign it as long as it's out. I got the marker out. Uh, yeah, I'm still not really used to writing 21, are you guys? All right, what do you think? I can't hold it up to tell. I think it's done. Um, this up here is a little irritating, but I'll probably actually trim that to like there. So if you're thinking, that's irritating up there, don't worry about it. It's going to get trimmed. All right, group, I think I'm done. Well, not bad, considering I had absolutely no plan for this. I had no idea what I was going to do with it. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, I was just thinking, maybe this is too plain. There's no lines or anything there. No, I'm going to leave it alone. All right, that's it. Okay, that's it. I'm going to trim, and then I'm done. So there you go, folks. Buster Keaton, Big Joe Roberts from the 1921 film The Goat. My mixed media collage. All right. Thanks for viewing, and have a very nice day out there.